I call to order this meeting. It is 6.32 p.m. Uh, Dr. Roche, please do the roll call. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Ambaronson? Here. Ms. Francois? Here. Mr. Schmidt? Here. Ms. Davenport? Here. And Chair Chairwoman Ford? Here. Okay. Please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In accordance with the provisions of Chapter 231, New Jersey Public Laws of 1975, the Open Public Meetings Act, adequate notice of this meeting has been provided by giving of notice to the Courier News, posting the agenda in the public lobby of this building 48 hours prior to this meeting, delivery of this notice to the Franklin Township Clerk at least 48 hours prior to this meeting, and mailing notice to those persons properly requesting to be mailed notification of meetings at least 48 hours prior to this meeting. Is there a motion to open the meeting for public comments? So moved. For a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, the motion is carried. Seeing that there is no one from the public um, here, I am asking, is there a motion to close the meeting for public comments? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Now, you've all received a copy of the minutes from the last meeting, the June meeting. Is that right? Yes. Seeing that no one said no. Okay. Um, are there any corrections to those meetings, minutes? Okay. In that case, uh, is there a motion to approve the minutes? As motion is? to approve as is. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Uh, moving on to the executive summary, professional report by Executive Director Danielson. You're muted. Thank you, Chairwoman. Let me just uh, open them up. Okay. All right, uh, our legal services for the month included uh, tasks involving Commerce Drive Pump Station, Birch Glen Developers Agreement, the Wesson Canal um, rebuild of the pump station, the rules, rates, and regs, uh, employee benefits in the contract, meetings, resolutions, bankruptcies, and general support. I'll note that I've removed the Marcy Street project from the uh, project list since the closeout documents have been fully executed. Uh, under the solar electric vehicle project, uh, we met again uh, with the CME and the, th the authority. We are continuing to review uh, our options and the financial uh, pros and cons of all those options. And uh, when anything um, comes to um, comes to the surface, I'll report more details in the future. Our financial platform upgrade, the migration to Edmonds, it's uh, going forward as expected. A high bay garage CDM is still continuing and having trouble 
to substantiate the building as not being within the flood zone by confirming now uh, the storm drain system and uh, which contributes or doesn't contribute to the uh, detention basin next to our campus. Um, that's basically the fork of the road and it's uh, easier said than done. Somerset, pumps, uh, Somerset Street Pump Station Rehab, uh, notice to proceed was issued to the contractor. The SED utilization plan uh, is being reviewed, then will be submitted. And the next step will include the e-builder uh, uh, training for staff, contractor, and the engineer. The Brookline Avenue uh, sewer rehab project, which is the sister project to that, uh, the authorization to award was received by the NJDEP. The bond steps uh, for our lending and our financing were completed uh, with our bond council, and we did close on the short-term construction loan on June 20th. The contract uh, documents were all received. Wesson Canal uh, pump station uh, rebuild, a meeting was held on June 20th. The site boring samples have been completed. The easement acquisition project, so for us to have this um, complete this project, we have to cross a small strip of land between this lot and the road, and that land is owned by the NJDEP. PSCNG wants to just um, grab that land uh, from, P uh, from DEP so they own it, and then we would get an easement from them. But they're reporting that that could take up to 18 months. So we are investigating also, while, while PSMG pursues that, uh, CME will be investigating us just getting our easement from the DEP, which might be faster than the 18 months. Not that the two compete with each other, but faster one of us gets an easement or ownership, faster this project will move forward. The site survey of this project, or the site of this project, that survey uh, was submitted I believe PSCNG is now questioning the survey or has some questions about that survey, but the project is moving along forward. Commerce Street Drive Pump Station Rehab Project. Um, uh, we uh, advertised, uh, we did advertise the bid, and I believe the bid opening is scheduled for July 9th. Uh, Will, can you, uh, is that correct, July 9th? Yes, that's correct. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, the repairing credit agreement was executed and returned. So this project's going along, and I'm actually uh, going to uh, change the, uh, the status of this project from yellow back to green. So that'll be moving forward nicely. Shirley Avenue Pump Station Rehab. Uh, the land appraiser was engaged to assess the uh, value of the land, and we should probably have his report within the next week. That is, <clears throat> that completes our project vendor summary. And I'll just move it uh, over to the executive director's report. Uh, revenue for uh, June 30th, uh, checks received were $479,536.10. Year to date uh, collected, since this is the first month of that, is the exact same amount. We have do, we do have an open balance due of non-metered uh, sewage of six million six hundred thirteen thousand three hundred six dollars and twenty cents. Penalties for the month generated was thirteen thousand five hundred sixty-one dollars and thirty-eight cents, which is uh, uh, average. Under expenses as of May thirty-first, expenditures for the month was four hundred eighty-two thousand. $166.60. Year-to-date expenditures is uh, $13,949,140.88. I'm going to note uh, to all the commissioners that um, at the end of the year, we reached the exact 100% of our budget expenditures as was forecasted for last year's budget. So we were like, uh, Robin Hood accurate on our appropriations last year. Under our cash position, uh, as of May 31st, unrestricted is 
$13,835,834.37 under restricted is $13,865,564.32 and under designated is $4,566,039.81 giving us a total cash net position of $21,291,291 and 38 cents. Under um, discussion items, I'm just going to bring this up. Uh, under discussion items, my first item is the budget. Tonight we are introducing the budget for the 24 25 year fiscal cycle. Uh, a couple of notes on the budget. Uh, the budget is altogether flat, that's flat uh, uh, under our revenue flat under appropriations and uh, so our revenue we're we are forecasting a 0.2 percent um, additional revenue next year and at the same time uh, our um, our appropriations are within 1.4 percent and that's a decrease from last year's appropriations all the projects this year were within budget or below budget though some were completed late uh, uh that we could not control not no fault of any one particular person or organization but they were all within budget or below uh, however i will note as it comes to projects we may begin to slow the pace uh at which new projects are uh are put on the board to begin and i'll get into that um what's unique about this budget from the past budgets is our net cash accumulation or our debt reduction i consider us now that's my strategy anywhere to increase our net cash accumulation and um also consider uh part of our debt reduction period i say that because though we have We've had a lot of projects put on the board in the last three years. The one project that's the big elephant in the room is the Western Canal uh, pump station. That's, a, <clears throat> that's gonna be a huge project. We are going to need to do two things, uh, accumulate more cash because that project is estimated to be a $20 million project and having more cash and ha having more cash to pay for it will reduce our debt. But we also have a very healthy debt obligation now. And I think if we accumulate as much cash as possible and possibly be a little bit more aggressive on reducing our debt, um, digesting the cost of a $20 million project would be, um, uh, it'd be less painful. So if we could if we could do stuff before we, we um, absorb that debt and then be aggressive after we uh, take on that debt it won't be nearly as bad so i, I just saw a text from uh, bill bowman uh, that uh, he says that the this meeting was advertised for 7 30 p.m not 6 30. Hey, april can you um yeah i'll check that because our calendar is uh presented all at one time in the beginning of the year, but I'll look into that. Okay, just reply to Bill, please. Uh, Joe, I have one question. Um, the uh, budget, uh, the township uh, allocation, is that included? Uh, I, I haven't gone through the budget. Uh, it's right here. Do you see my pointer on the screen? Uh, yeah, it's very small. I can't, my eyes are not that bright. Uh, you see right there? Oh, okay. All right. So it's an yellow, yellow color. Okay. Yeah. Right. That's, okay. That's the money going to the town. Joe, you, know, you can see the yellow and, and, and print, but you can't really read the numbers. So yeah, small. there we go. Now it's readable. Not for me. I have. I happen to have a large screen. Even then, I'm squinting. Is it uh, six hundred thousand? 
Can you zoom it, Joe? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm draw him a, let me see. Yeah, getting better. Yeah, it's better. Right there. I know what to do. All right, so uh, we have a, what's called a municipal appropriations. Uh, we're allowed to do a um, maximum of 5% of our appropriations. So that's 5% of this number right here. I'm sorry, uh, hold on. Uh, total appropriations and cumulative deficit appropriations. Uh, what number is the 5%? 60 million. No, I'm sorry, it's this number. 5% of that we can add. So that's, that brings us to like $750,000. Uh, but, um, you know, the the team thought 600000 was a good number this year. <coughs> so uh, that, that's what that is. So possibly next year we won't make a, an appropriations. You know, we'll, we'll see, you know, what your opinion is. If we do not, we that money could go into the net cash accumulation for you know uh you know to pay down our debt or you know to save up for the uh pump station no but that you know that that's your decision uh i will note uh let me just move some things around uh Joe, can that be can that be used to um stop increases in um you know, annual bills to the taxpayers? It, it could, it, absolutely. Absolutely. But, you know, the, the goal here is not only to continue the operations, but you have to continue your capital improvements. Uh, if, you just, if you look at other authorities or um, other, uh, municipalities that put it off it, it's way more expensive down the road so that's why you know every pump station needs to be updated we're updating every pipe that needs to be relined is getting relined and it's that six hundred thousand dollars isn't going towards that excuse me that six hundred thousand dollars is not going towards what you just described that can no, be used to script at, you know, at whatever discretion you want, including um, making sure that rates don't increase on the the citizens, the res residents. Correct. Uh, that six hundred thousand is going to the municipality. I know. Mm -hmm. I, I know. I understand that. Okay. Yeah. But what what I hear from people, people who live in Franklin when they hear that their their taxes you know it's not their taxes are going up they see it as their sewage bill going up you know you know whatever it is uh that's upsetting to them so i'm just saying if this can be used to um inhibit that that would be beneficial to them uh that that's that's true um yeah it's a it's a balancing act so I mean, and we could talk about it in more detail next year when when we begin to strategize the budget, capital improvements, uh, and our rate increase, our connection fee. You know, um, as long as we're taking care, uh, properly taking care of our capital assets, you know, there's no wrong answer here. Yeah, I didn't mean this to be a big um, discussion on this. I was just asking the, the question about, you know, if it can yeah. be used for that. Yeah. Um, so if you look at the uh, revenue, so here we're expecting $17 million in revenue. So I also, so when you look at that, let's just assume that revenue doesn't change from year to year. I, I then have to compare that down here to our uh, our appropriations of just under 17 million, 16.9. Now that's going to go up every year just for the healthcare, retiree benefits, uh, you know, 
the appropriations budget, 99% of the appropriation budget is non-discretionary. Like if you said, hey, Joe, reduce it by 10%, can't do it. These are fixed costs or costs that are outside our control. Um, half of that, half, uh, half of this, it goes to one, is paid out in one check to Middlesex County Utilities Authority. That's just an example. Then you have health care, then you have pension, and your salaries, electricity. It's non-discretionary. So when, when you look at those two numbers relative to the rates, uh, reducing, you know, adding the, the $600,000 to this, that might do $9 a year per customer for less than two years. It's not that, it's not great, but however, instead of, if we change nothing and we just put that money in the bank in an interest bearing account, everything would be the same, but we would end up having more cash to be able to pay for a $20 million uh, project. Because if we don't save up that cash and at least have a, a rate, a, a customer rate uh, that will sustain uh, saving up money, that $20 million will end up costing us $35 million just you know, over the lifespan of the loan with the interest. I, uh, and I don't know if $35 million is accurate. I, I should just say it costs you millions of dollars more because you did not save up or, or uh, enough cash or you didn't charge a little bit more aggressively. When you have that money sitting in an account, several million dollars, is it in some kind of interest bearing account? Yeah, look on the screen, Commissioner Schmidt. This is this is our cash. This yeah, I, our I, 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 you really need to blow it up a little bit to see it, but I'm just asking what what is there a percentage, an interest rate percentage that you're getting on on your that money? There is, and that's I guess that's set by the market, the Wall Street. But all these accounts are interest-bearing accounts. Every single yeah. One. I mean, I'm just I'm just wondering, do you have a choice of what you can put it in? I mean, that's a lot of money. That I mean, if you're getting one percent, that's a lot less than if you can get five percent. No, um, we don't have it. We don't have a choice. There's a trade-off. So we have uh, the sewage authority. Unlike the town, the sewage authority has access to iBank money. The iBank is a bank that is owned and run by the state of New Jersey, where they get money from the federal government and they get money from us. Uh, they're able to take money from the federal government that, that they get for free, and then they loan it to us, and they charge us a really low interest rate, just enough to run the iBank. And, and so it's, it's near free money. However, we have to we have a lot of requirements that we have to maintain to have access to that money one requirement is we have to have a lot of money a lot of cash in the bank number two we have to have a trustee for our money which our trustee is the bank of new york mellon bank of new york um we all, so the, every month that this bank tells us where to put this money and it goes in between their bank and then these top accounts, if you see, are uh, TD Bank. And they, they, we shift those, those amounts around uh, every month. Also, for example, we just closed a short-term loan for the Brookline account. So Bank of New York and our bond council just uh, required us to open up two more accounts to manage that money coming in for that project. So um, the last requirement we have to uh, have to get that money, you have to have a bond rating from Moody's. So we're supposed to, uh, you see this number, uh, 16,965,000? Uh, 
we're supposed to have a revenue that's 110% of that money, of that amount. Within a three year period, one of those years, I have to have a revenue, again, that's 110% of $16.9 million. So 16.9, yeah, so that, that'll be $18.6 million. So I, I'm, uh, I'm $1.6 million away from that. However, because we might be, we still might be okay. Because we have such cash on hand, Moody's might uh, grant us the rating without that 110% ratio. And look at our past performance. I, I guess, you know, I'm just asking if you have, let's say, $3 million that you know that you're not going to be using for the next six months, can you put that into an account, a CD, for example, that might get you 5% that over yeah. over six months, it'll get you $75,000 in interest? I, I don't think we're allowed to do that, but if you if you want, uh, a, uh, Dr. Roach and I can can uh, explore that. I, I would very much like you to, because if you've got a lot of cash sitting around and it's making one percent interest, um, and there's millions of dollars that can get uh, five percent interest, which is out there now, um, we're losing out on a lot of interest. Yeah. Uh, we we typically have around twenty one million dollars cash all the time. Yeah, but I'm I'm talking about something that you know that you are not going to have to touch for X amount of time, you know, for six months, let's say, or even a year. If you know you're not going to, you know, that's a lot of interest that you could be losing by having in a, in a low interest account. Yeah, because like. Let me highlight these 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 accounts right here. I mean that's uh, five point seven, six point seven point four. That's about ten million dollars right there. But th these are accounts like that top account goes in and out from uh, that bank to Bank of America. Uh, one's a bond reserve, and the other is a um, another reserve uh, that's required. So uh, my guess is uh, probably not not, but we'll ask. Yeah, I'd appreciate I'd it if, you did. if they if they let us do that. I'd be shocked. Yeah. If they... So I had I had brought this up uh, when I came on board many years ago, and I was told that we don't have the discretion of uh, investing um, as, uh, in other, uh, I guess, instruments. So I was told that, and maybe you know Joe can look into it again. Uh, but anyway, the. the so Bill Bowman put in another in the chat uh, question. Uh, is this a budget discussion? Where is this listed on the agenda? Um, I, I play to him. It is part of uh, uh, executive director's report, uh, but uh, he has concerns about discussing budget introduction without an agenda item. Yeah, so this is the this is the uh, introduction. This is not the adoption of the budget. So we're in, I'm, I'm introducing it tonight. Uh, we're not required to even talk about it tonight. Uh, we could, and I suggest that we do re-talk about the budget next month uh, again. So now tonight, uh, this being uh, introduced, uh, this is uh, me just initiating the conversation for the board and the public. And um, next month, the uh, the public and the board can, you know, with the benefit of a whole month, um, discuss it in great detail uh, next month. Okay, maybe I think, I think the point is well taken. I think uh, what his concern is that we should have a line item on the agenda that uh, budget is going to be presented or discussed or approved. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Uh, all right. So again, re revenue, uh, if you look over here, we're within a 0.2% and appropriations were negative 1.4. Uh, 
Um, the, what is discretionary, if you want to say that, is if you go down to uh, the capital, and you, you know, you you've all seen, and here's a, of course um, a breakdown of the appropriations on C, uh, F5. But if you go down to uh, the capital projects, this is really our forward-looking, <coughs> forward-looking the capital improvement. So <clears throat> now, this is not all our projects. Uh, if if you recall, let me uh, see. I'm just going to uh, open up a uh, an Excel sheet here real quick. Okay, so this uh, project index is past, present, and future projects. And I, I leave the past projects on here uh, just for your reference. But n all the pr uh, future projects on this board are not represented uh, in the budget uh, because, you know, we're just not close to addressing them. And I didn't think um, uh, this is more of a vision board, if you will. This, the budget, um, this list is closer to being real, realized. So that's the difference between the two lists. So the Brookline project is on here. And this, this page, the uh, CB3, is um, not only the list of projects, but what money is being spent this year. Um, you had the Brookline, the Belmont Trunk Rehab, Shirley Avenue, Western Canal Road, you know, and you can, you can read all those project, projects we do. If you go to CB4, you'll see the same list. Let me just go down to CB4. The same list, but now if you look here, the estimated total cost of those projects in the first column. And then you see of the total cost, what's going to be spent, how much is going to be spent in 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So here it's how much per year is being spent on that project that'll, that will total up to the total cost. Um, and if you go down to CB5, it's the same list as CB3. <laughs> But then it's basically um, showing you where is that money coming from. So if you look at the first project, the Brookline, um, $8.2 million is coming all from debt, from financing. Um, the, the next one, Belmont, is coming from renewal replacement, which is our cash. So uh, everything under renewal replacement is cash. Uh, that come in from our net cash position. However, you should know, let, let me just give you this, uh, 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 an example of why we need cash. The Brookline Rehab Project, $8.2 million, and we intend to finance that, uh, that project 100%. But the way that our financing works is our financing works on a reimburse, reimbursement basis. So, They'll grant us a short-term loan, but that loan reimburses us for money that we paid out already. So if we start the project, we put out a million dollars, the short-term loan will reimburse us a million dollars. So in order to get this financing and to use it, you actually have to have some of the money for the project in cash. I'm estimating anywhere between 15 and 25 percent of the project you need to have available in cash. So uh, unlike the revenue and the appropriation side of the budget, which is extremely lean, um, and if, if there's any big variables in any single line item, the state requires you to substantiate the difference, regardless if it goes up or down. Uh, this section, the capital appropriations, does have more discretion in it than anything else. Like we can decide if we want not to do any of this work. But luckily, going through uh, multiple engineering firms, 
um, top-notch operations staff uh, under um, Scott Nocero, we've identified these projects as being critical, and we also identified the order in which they need to get done, and we identified the approximate le year they must get done. So they're, it, it, they're very defendable. Uh, however, they are discretionary. So that's what I said earlier in the beginning. Uh, we may slow the rate at which we start new projects, but I don't intend to recommend that we eliminate or suspend any of the projects. Just we're slowing the rate a new project is started. Uh, that's all I have on the budget. Um, let's, let's make sure the next the budget discussion is uh, that goes on the agenda, uh, please. Yep. Well, the, uh, one second, Executive Director. Will the budget be discussed next month also? Because there is a um, in the chat, the Franklin Reporter is saying that there might have been people who wanted to, who might have been interested in hearing the budget discussion, but it they're saying that it's not on the agenda. So the truth of the matter is, uh, Chairwoman, uh, I wasn't even going to discuss the budget tonight. I'm introducing it. And um, then, as we've done in every year in the past, we discuss it next month. But, um, you know. And, it's if, not, and Joe, if I may, and it is on the agenda when we're going to actually do the voting on the budget. And right before, I believe, Brian, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, there's also an open to the public discussion um, before, after the presentation is done, I believe. Yeah, that, that is correct. And it's publicly advertised as well. I have to do a public advertisement after tonight's meeting of the right. budget being on yeah, the agenda. Yeah. Well. yeah, I mean, everything from the public advertising to certificates and resolutions, that, I mean, this process is dictated entirely by the state auditor who basically holds our hand through the process. Well, but if, if you want, I mean, I'm, I'm quite proud of this budget. Um, you know, more advertising we could do for it, the better. I'll make sure it's uh, in the uh, current news. Okay, um, going back to the report. Um, uh, okay, and so again, the revenue and appropriations are both flat and uh, no major changes in the capital, um, capital projects uh, five-year plan. Also, uh, there's no user rate increase this year. Uh, our 2024 audit uh, is um, will probably begin in August, September. Uh, we put the uh, auditor on notice to be here on site. Uh, our bonding, our short-term loan bonding did close with Bank of New York, uh, and that we did create the sub-accounts for that project thanks to uh, our bond council. Uh, I will report our, all our projects were completed uh, that were completed this year uh, and done with uh, within budget or below budget. And I removed a number of the reports from my summary report. That's the monthly summary report. Um, the land acquisition for PSNG again. I, I, I know I'm repeating myself. PSNG is looking to buy the property from DEP, where we're looking at the same time just for an easement uh, through that property. And those two agendas are not competing with each other. Uh, Shirley Avenue, we're waiting for the land appraisal to come back so we can know what amount of money to offer the, the landowner so we can expand the pump station footprint. Rules, rates, and regulations, we're still in the process of updating the developer's agreement and that, uh, Updated developers agreement also involves the Birch Glen development, which we did, uh, which we are uh, now at the point, I'm sure the attorney, um, I don't know if you want to say anything, Brian, uh, the meeting 
we're, we're at the point we could uh, present it to the developer? Yeah, I, I think we, based on the correspondence that went, was exchanged earlier today, I need to make a few revisions. We'll probably get it out tomorrow to them. Okay. To circulate it again to the group. Just to and make sure. I'm just going to stress that, um, you know, w what we did was we replaced the old developer's agreement that gave the developer everything and left the taxpayers holding the bag for all those expenses. And based upon our new approach to this, now we are not uh, subject to any of those expenses, and that will be on the developer entirely. And we, we put in some procedures and some standards in the developer's agreement um, that further protects the taxpayers and the authority. Um, what is increasing this year per the auditor's um, calculations is our connection fee, and nothing we could do about that, uh, but that's only for new connections. Uh, for en internal engineering, it was a, somewhat of a slow month with zero new connections and zero um, TWAs being executed, but we did have uh, five uh, TRC reviews that for the township under staffing strength and discussions uh we are in the, uh, uh i'm still in the process of finalizing the uh, annual performance reviews for the managers and foreman i'm assuming the executive director is uh in the process of um doing the re annual review for the executive director uh, I will note that we have a new receptionist that's still in training and a new bookkeeper that's still in training. Um, so if you run into these new ladies, please introduce yourselves and welcome them. Uh, I'll note that Jenny Knapp has retired. Um, sad to see her go, very wonderful person, and she immediately went on vacation. But the good news is she's going to return on a part-time basis which is very good thing to do. Um, I'm just gonna note again, like I note every month, our operations and admin and our foreman are top-notch managers and professionals, and they always perform above average. And um, just what they do every day is just uh, astounding. They impress me all the time. Um, Regarding our internal engineering, I am also note that uh, the engineering staff continues uh, to receive compliments from our taxpayers in Franklin. I recently received uh, an email by someone so happy they sought me out to let me know how happy they were uh, on the public uh, with the customer service and um, what they do for the public calling in and needing help. And, um, CME and our internal and our external people uh, and within our operations staff too uh, are constantly getting compliments from the public and that's public attorneys, engineers, developers, landowners, uh, homeowners and business owners. So I sent out an email uh, earlier in the week uh, that I shared that email um, with their bosses. Um, Somerset grant, uh, so the ARP money grant that were coming from the county and the municipality, it's still up in the air on what the procedure is for us to get that money. Um, the county initially said, well, once you go out to bid, give us the bid contract and the bid award and we'll cut you a check. Then Franklin Township says, no, every time you send a check to the vendor, you have to submit a PO to us and we'll write you a check. Seems like a lot of checks going back and forth. So the county told me, the county council told me that they're going to check and confirm if they could just do it all in one check once we award the contract, because it's near guaranteed we're going to pay that amount of money for the contract. Uh, hopefully, if they do confirm they could do pay us in one check, uh, I would like the maybe Commissioner Councilwoman Francois and Embarrassing to maybe have a 
discussion with the township manager to see if they could do the same thing. I would hate for so many checks to be processed in, instead of just doing it with one check, but more to come next month. Um, okay, under uh, standard uh, resolutions, uh, we don't, all we have this month is payroll, operating expense, renewal and replacement, and escrow. We, we do not have any general fund or any north track. Of the additional resolutions, we have a resolution to refund monies that were received in error on account 13276.00, a resolution memorializing the authority for the executive director and the chairwoman to execute the developer's agreement, which still has not been done, uh, but we're within seconds of doing it. Uh, resolution memorializing CME to um, begin monitoring Harrison Towers sewer flow. Uh, resolution authorizing a land appraisal for Shirley Avenue pump station, which we, that land appraiser was engaged. And of course, a resolution noting the uh, late fiscal budget introduction for 24 or 25 fiscal uh, budget cycle. And I have no other items, and I do not intend for a closed um, executive session. And that concludes my report, Chairwoman. Thank you. And now for the committee reports, the negotiations and personnel committee. Is there anything to report? I have uh, nothing to report. I uh, just wanted to follow up on what uh, the executive director mentioned about management uh, uh, performance review. I uh, just want to make sure that uh, all the management people are getting reviewed uh, on time and then uh, appropriately uh, the races uh, have, are being put in place. Thank you. Municipal liaison, Commissioner Francois. I don't have anything to report. <clears throat> Construction? Commissioner Embarrenson? I have nothing to report. Now, the last one is the safety. There were no accidents or injuries for the month. Okay. Thank you very much. So let's move on to the resolutions. Um, first set of resolutions um, are with the consent agenda. All items listed below are considered to be of a routine nature, thereby requiring one motion and one second for all items. If any member wishes to remove an item from the consent agenda, please advise me at the time which resolutions need to be handled separately and they will be addressed and voted on separately. Resolution number one, payroll account fund, $164,789.51. Resolution number two, the operating expense fund, $196,636.96. Resolution number three, renewal and replacement count, $175,579.70. And the escrow fund, $17,312 and 75 cents. Is there a motion to adopt this resolution? So moved. Is that Commissioner Schmidt? I'll, I'll second it. Okay, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is carried. Now for the additional resolutions, resolution number five, the resolution authorizing the refund of monies that was received by the authority in error and posted to sewer account number 13276.00. Is there a motion to adopt this resolution? It's a motion. Is there a second? second? Okay. Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. 
excuse me, the resolution is adopted. Resolution number six, resolution memorializing the action the board took at the June 4th, 2024 meeting, authorizing the chairwoman and executive director to execute a developer's agreement with Birch Glen. Is there a motion to adopt this resolution? Motion to adopt. The second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Resolution is adopted. Resolution number seven. Resolution memorializing the action the board took <coughs> June, excuse me, June 4th, 2024 meeting uh, authorizing CME Associates to monitor the Harrison Towers service flow. Is there a motion to adopt this resolution? So 9,381. Okay, is there a second? Yeah, I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Resolution is adopted. Resolution number eight. Resolution memorializing the action of the board taken at the June 4th, 2024 meeting authorizing a land appraisal with regard to the Shirley Avenue pump station project. Is there a motion to adopt this resolution? And to adopt. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? <clears throat> Aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> Excuse me. The resolution is adopted. Resolution number nine, the Franklin Township Sewerage Authority late budget resolution. Is there a motion to adopt this resolution? So moved. motion to approve. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Resolution is adopted. Excuse me. Okay, and since there is not a need, oh, I'm sorry, is there someone raising hands? Madam Got Chair, it? just one, one question. Uh, so I think we're supposed to do the uh, connection connection fee adoption. Okay. It's supposed to be done this month. I think we talked right. about it in the board prep meeting. April, did you, uh, did you provide that resolution? You're muted. April, you're muted. Yes, uh, Brian, you you, uh, you you all didn't send one over, right? We just had the discussion last month. And then we I'm sorry, did, which which resolution is this? This is for the connection. I know we I did the public advertising to let folks know that it was going to be effective on June 1st, but I understood we had to let it table for a month, and then this month we're supposed to... Uh, do a vote. We, we advertised. You advertised for yeah, it. I did. I did. For tonight. Uh, yes. For tonight. Okay. Yeah. So you can vote on it, and then we'll memorialize it in the resolution, like we did with the others. We just you just voted on. Okay. Okay. I need the wording for the resolution because I don't have a copy of it. So let me just give me a minute, if you will, Chairwoman, and I will pull it up. Let's see if I have. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Okay, so Madam Chairwoman, it's simply a uh, uh, a motion that the authority sewer connection fee is hereby modified uh, to be in the amount of April. What's the amount for the new con connection fee? <laughs> now you got to give me a minute so I can pull that for you. Oh, yeah, I might have it here. One second. I, uh, 
let's see. Here it is. One second. I think. I think. Okay, so Madam Chair, the is to approve uh, the adjustment in the uh, authority's uh, sewer connection fee, uh, and it is in the amount of it's going from three thousand three hundred and fifty-four dollars to three thousand six hundred and thirty-six dollars. I'm sorry, could you repeat that again a little slower? Yeah, sure. It's going from three thousand three hundred and fifty-four dollars to three thousand six hundred and thirty-six dollars. <laughs> I'm sorry, you 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 kind of were yeah, frozen on the last part of that. Yeah, you broke up here also. All right. did, did you get the first part or no? Three thousand three hundred fifty-four dollars. Correct, and it's going to three thousand six hundred and thirty-six dollars. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Resolution number ten to approve an adjustment in the authority sewer connection fee. Um, from the amount of $3,354 to $3,636. Is there a motion to approve that, res to adopt that resolution? So moved. I'll make a second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Any opposed? Resolution is adopted. With that said, is there any other business that needs to be conducted tonight. Dr. Roach, do you have anything else? Nope. Everything looks like we've taken care of it. Okay. In that case, since we are not going to have an executive session, is there a motion to close the meeting? So moved. Close. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.